I'm doing a fiddle workshop online this weekend and I'm, I decided I wanted to teach Rockingham Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, Rockingham Cindy, that's a good tune everyone should know. And that's that's a good one for jam yeah, sessions. But boy, and then, and then once I started like really trying to be like, okay, well, how am I going to teach this? And in order to do that, then I'm going back and listening to Tommy Gerald and Kirk Sutphin. And then I'm like totally having a meltdown about it because I'm just like, I, it's impossible. Really? Yeah, but, well, yeah, everybody thinks <laughs> that, that that's just a simple little tune, but, but oh it's my like, God. there is, there is all manner of shit going in, on in there inside of it. That is, it is so profound. It's crazy. Yeah. You, and you realize, for instance, that there's actually a whole lot less notes being played than you think there are. Yes. A whole lot less. No, when you put Tommy Gerald through the amazing slowdowner, it's like, oh, those aren't different notes. <laughs> yeah, you're hearing. You, well, it's it's like you really learn. You you that's that's a really important part of, of learning anything. Most of what our brain works on, on our sensory input, is trashing most of what we put into it. You your senses are taking in way too much. And so you you have to figure out, okay, what do I expect? And I can I I pick up the salient points and my brain connects the dots. Yeah, I always compare it to uh, to optical illusion kind of stuff where your your brain fills in the information it's expecting and that's how optical illusions work. Oh my god, I run into that all the time with music stuff where you hear something and you really think you're hearing one thing and then yeah, when you, and it's like, when you dig come, in, you're like, when Whoa. I play, Yeah, how come when how come when I play that it sounds rinky dink, but you know whoever it is, they play the same thing, and it just knocks your socks off. And not only that, you listen to it again and you realize they're not playing nearly as much as I'm playing either. 